So I don't know if rival actions are actually broken or if they were intended to be implemented in this fashion. So let me explain. Rival actions in 2K23 always reverted your match to a one-on-one -on -one normal. You cannot change the match type and have a rival action. I don't know, like I said, if it's supposed to be that way. Maybe I'm not understanding something, but I still find it frustrating. So if we go to edit the match, for example, and we do customize match, and let's say we're like, you know what? We're not going to do a normal match. We're just going to do uh, what I normally do, which is just a false count anywhere. Nothing too crazy. And we're going to confirm. We're going to accept that. See? See? One-on-one -on -one normal, as you could see, with the rival action. However, upon the right stick button, sorry, rival reactions to push down on the right analog stick. There we go. Helps if I could speak properly. Now let's remove the action <clears throat> so that there are no rival actions. And then we go to finalize it. You will now see that my match type has been put to where I wanted it to begin with, which was a false count anywhere. And again, going to add any kind of action really, really quick. So I, I don't know. You, you could see it above my bald pumpkin head there. It's a uh, one-on-one -on -one normal. I find that frustrating naturally because I do enjoy the extra immersion that you can get in your universe mode from having these actions and just having to completely omit them is again just to piss off on top of the fact that the camera cuts aren't working you can't turn them off they're stuck on for some people they won't mind that i still haven't tested if pin sliders work but yeah these are the things again that like i said are starting off to be a little bit frustrating and i feel like i'm just dunking on the game and coming up with all this negativity but i feel like it's important for me to be transparent and if there's something that i feel isn't working then I want to be transparent and showcase that to you so that you can make a better decision as to whether or not you still want to buy this game or not. Because this cost me 180 bucks Canadian, so I'm going to be very picky with what I'm experiencing here. Anyhow, that's enough of that. Take care, and if you liked the video, thumbs up. Didn't like it, thumbs down, and we'll just go from there. Bye for now.